Cancel. Don't remember doing this at all. I can only hold myself accountable. Cancel. I object! Look how good my life is. So what else? Cancel me. Fan emotion is cancelled. Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. <laughs> we are gathered here today camera. in holy matrimony with Brooke Schofield and Amari Stewart. Yes, we are all getting married today. That is the thing. Hello, people. How are you? Today we are just... It's an interesting day. Um, Tana tried to cancel on me. Yeah, I really... You I, did? I, well, I didn't try to cancel. I've just been going through it. There's, there's a lot going on in life right now that's super ass. I made her come. That oh. sounded yeah, that so... sounded awful. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Brooke's wearing my shirt. I am wearing your shirt, but you need to just honestly. She would have never known that if I didn't. Oh tell no, her. I no, that's actually I get so for true. Being honest. Also, what I think is funny too is how you were talking about like you leave your clothes and you're like, oh, I'll never get it back. So imagine like every time that like your stuff got left at our house, you're like, honestly, fuck her. I'm just gonna take something of hers because I know I'm never getting that's that like, back. That's like that's kind of, of how it's it happens. Like I've trade. had times. I I wore a hoodie over to your house one time. I remember this so vividly. I I wore it over there. It's Tana's, by the way. And she was like, oh my god, I love that hoodie. Like, <laughs> like she had never seen it before in her entire life, and I'm I'm like. <clears throat> Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, you walked into and I was like, Brooke bought a cute top. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's literally mine. I can't. No. So, well, we've been moving. And just now our podcast producer was like, I like your shoes. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm really happy because we've been moving. And I just found these. That Why would I show the bottom? That's so disgusting. <laughs> um, and I just found them. I haven't had them forever. They were, like, on a shelf. And then Amari was saying. Oh, that. OK, OK. So basically, <clears throat> I feel like when you have like a slide that you love, like it's just like your go-to slide. Like this is my black Gucci slide is my go-to slide. I'll take it everywhere. It's like having a sleeping t-shirt. Exactly. Like it's just like the easiest one. I can leave it at someone's house. Like I just (laughs) like, it just goes with everything. So then when we first moved into this house, like probably like seven, eight months ago, like I was wearing these while we were moving into the house. So I know for a fact they made it to the house. I wore them for a couple times, like while we lived in the house. And then all of a sudden, Tana's, Tana's closet organizer comes and poof. Well, I mean, and honestly, bless your heart, Janelle. You are so good at organizing <laughs> closets. But like, we were going through the top of the closet last night. We were like all trying to whatever. And I found just like eight pairs of shoes. I was like, what made you yeah. think the Yeezy Croc needed to be with like the dust mites? And I was like going like, insane too. Because yeah, like, I was like, I know for a fact these slides are here in this house. Because we moved with them. Like, I know for a fact they're in this house. But why are they nowhere to be found? I looked in the top of her closet multiple times, standing on top of a chair, like jumping, jumping, mm-hmm. trying to see the top of the closet. I'm like, they're not there. Where the fuck are these slides? So I was like... The them. one thing I want to find in this move is my black Gucci slides, and we are tearing this house apart. We are going to find them. No, we all I bet it was they like show up last night. I started screaming. Really and we were like screaming. It was actually amazing. Well, speaking of slides, <laughs> I have a special pair of slides. So, yeah, Amari just now was saying he has a special pair of slides, and Brooke was like, Me too. And I'm thinking to myself, like, No, you don't. And then I, months ago, and they're not even just like, just like regular slides, they are like unreleased Diplo. Crocs. I line. feel like they were released. <laughs> they were probably released. <laughs> like, they were 100% released. Like, what do you think Diplo has, like... But, like, I just... I feel like I could never get them again. And, like, Diplo sent them to me. I was so excited. Anyways, Brooke... <laughs> She's like, he personally handed those to me. I know, me. that's what she always says. It's so fun. I remember one time, one time I put on, like, a, a tank top, and I was like, oh, I just don't think I look good. She's like, that's unreleased skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, fully released. Why is that? Wait, like, no, where is the... Wait, un- no, listen like- to this. Listen to this, because you're going to get a fucking kick out of this one. So... I don't know if you guys know the story, but back during Christmas, like she got me a Dior saddlebag. She got my mom like a Louis Vuitton Speedy. And like she had Paige go get the bags one day. And then like everything happened. Like um, it got stolen. We like I found out that my gift was like something from Dior because the guy, the, like the Tesla took a picture of the guy with the bags. And like yeah. I knew she was giving me all my Louis, like a Louis purse. Which is so annoying. And then so the other Dior bag was like Dior, a yeah. giant Dior bag. But I didn't know like what it was though. And <laughs> Tana was like, oh my God, like let's just like your, your gift unreleased unreleased <laughs> irreplaceable no, 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 and then no. and then no, that's not Paige, what i said that is what you said that's what you said in zinc that's what you said in zinc i was there and that's then what and I said. then and then Paige, she's like Paige has to go back tomorrow with the exact same stuff i'm like okay so if it's unreleased one how did you get unreleased i meant tomorrow? like newly second, released second, like second. like no. Kyla's, Kyla's like show me the back room no. So, exactly no and then walking back in the next day being like can I get the exact same thing again unreleased <laughs> we, were we're like, yeah, we have two set aside just for you we had a feeling this was gonna happen we had a feeling you were gonna get robbed today things have been a little rinky in LA dude it gives me the same energy what's the what's no the, we have to stop it, we have to, no we have to stop one more no, no we have to stop you know what I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say cut. I don't even know what you're gonna say but we're done we're actually ever so literally done I was trying to say it was newly released the point of this fucking story 
story <laughs> is that Brooke stole my slides. I walk into Lila's the other day and she's kicking them under the couch <laughs> so that I can't get them back. Like I know she's oh gonna take God. them back, but they've I've broken them in. They're like suited to my feet now. <laughs> no, and then we're all about to go to like tar- CVS, something, whatever. And Brooke's trying to leave like barefoot <laughs> because she doesn't want to get my fucking slides out oh, from underneath the fucking Little concept couch. of seeing you like kick them under though, being like, no, shit, like, shit, she's here. She's, she's here. here. Fuck. She slid them back. It's very up. recognizable. They're one of one. So. <laughs> Unreleased. <laughs> they specially made for her. I'm going to DM Diplo myself and say, can we get a second pair of those Crocs? Oh honestly, my God. Honestly, can, yeah, Diplo, please, can you send like a hundred? Wes. <laughs> Wes. <laughs> Wes. <laughs> she's like, he gave those to me after he asked me to be in his new song. <laughs> after he proposed. Okay, you were not. This The whole podcast is not about to be. I can't. I can't do it today. No, I'll have no, an no more Tana breakdown. slander. I'm like, okay. I'll just break down. We should just start calling Tana's fun fibs. <laughs> Tana's fun. <laughs> Let's start writing them down. So he is still going. <laughs> no, we're not still going. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> that was such a fun direction. New podcast name? No, honestly, I'm just going to leave and Amari can sit here and you two can host this fucking goddamn fucking show. Okay. It's okay. Oh, Listen, God. it's Tana Mojo is canceled. We can talk about whatever you want to, I baby. I don't want to. I don't want, I don't want it to be Tana Mojo's <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sweating. Wait, what do the crocs look like? Out. Like they're just like little like Diplo gibbets. <laughs> yes, there are there are Diplo gibbets. <laughs> There's so a fucking cute. Diplo. They're so cute and they're like slides. They're the Wait, bright yellow ones. They're them, like color. did you were you just over one day and then you were like, ooh. I don't remember. Well, I probably wore them home one day uh-huh. if I was wearing like heels or something. Just so you know, every time I've ever worn heels to Tana's house, they just disappear. So I'm even if I wanted to wear my own shoes home, I couldn't. One time, so now, now they're on her Depop. So. <laughs> one time one day we were going somewhere and Tana was wearing my, but we have completely different size fo- shoes. So it was like she was wearing them only on her toes. <laughs> the <laughs> black <laughs> heels. Me, I was wearing yeah. her shoes. And her foot, or like half of her foot was hanging off the top. That's what? so That's- embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so no, it's okay. One time Lila texts me. Like, I think I was at Ty's. You guys were going out, but you guys were at our house getting ready. And she texts me like, can I wear your pandas? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. But I was like, I don't think they're going to fit. And she was like, they're, they were already on her feet. She sends me a picture. <laughs> it's like, or no, she fit. sends me the picture with them on and goes, can I wear your pandas? I was like, well, you're already wearing them. <laughs> Duh. Like, so, but Lila's feet are significantly bigger than mine. So, like, I'm oh, surprised. Lila did uh-huh. that. Yeah, and I was like, how the fuck did you get that on? <laughs> no, the other day she came here in her new like little like Yeezy Croc things, and she walks in, and I kid you not, she's like limping, and like like <laughs> can't walk. They're like and a I'm, size like, six. And I'm like, oh my what's God. wrong? And she's like, these are five sizes too small. I have to give them to Paige. I was like, why'd you get them? <laughs> oh my God, right? Like you put them on at Pretty Little Thing, and we're like, and like hobble them. I'm, yeah, exactly. Like down. Mel was like. Eat her, eat her, eat her. Like, oh my god! Uh, wow. wow! Oh my wow, god! Wow, 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 wow. Can I ask you guys' opinion on something? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. And I might just be like, actually, ever so. Li- well, I am insane. Ever so literally. I, I don't. That's my. That's my phrase of the week right now. Ever so literally. Um. So I, I've had my exes. My ex, Chris Miles. Did you see that? Someone. <laughs> <laughs> the, I keep wanting to say these two girls, but I'm one. still completely unsure. I can't tell. Like, it, I think it's one girl who played both parts. Wait, what are we imitated the canceled we, podcast? Have you seen it? Oh, I yeah. I, how long was that? Was it like a full like forty two something mi- minutes or it's like two no, minutes long? No, no, long, it was right? two minutes. And okay, yeah, I seconds. watched that. That was so fucking funny. So Shout funny out to you girls. And, so and the girl, on. the girl, one girl. Oh, really? The girl imitating me is just like being like Chris Miles, Chris Miles, uh-huh. Chris Miles, and I'm like I have. To be stopped. Like, I cannot. You know, this- I'm sorry to cut you no, off. Go ahead. But the funniest part about it is she told a story. Or, like, the, like she made, like, made up this funny story. And she was, I forget what it was. but So I, literally me. But before <laughs> she put it out before our most recent things. podcast came out. And then I watched back the episode yesterday during, like, the, the premiere or whatever. And you told the exact story that she was, like, making fun of us for. Like, like I'm being- what was the story about? God, I wish I, I remember. I wish we could, like, play it or something. But. It was yeah, like we should have reacted to it. Oh, like, it was something like this rapper was texting me and Chris Miles saw it and like all this stuff. She was so like, just like a fun- Wednesday. Yeah, like, she was making fun of Tana, but then like Tana really told that story. It was funny. But <laughs> well, okay, so I, I hate to say the forbidden CM, but I have to tell a quick little oh, I just want your advice. Um, so as you guys know, I've been actually not I did notice that indulging in Chris Miles. Good job. Um by choice and- or, or is that his choice? 
Um, I think it's my choice. I think Those it's our into, choice. She's like, Chris, if you're out there. <laughs> 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 if you're watching this, please give me another chance. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Um, but so we actually haven't been whatever. We've both been like doing our own thing and whatever. And I've had his Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. Um, on the TV downstairs. And it was like him, his sister, Michaela and um like his mom and like another like just a guest account and those were all the users on it right and so the other day i log into the netflix and this was when joey was here one of the names was changed to joey with like a funny weird like little icon on the netflix he's so funny for that but like do you, do you think he did that or do you think I'm just Yeah yeah saying? I know he did that because I've done that two separate times. <laughs> <laughs> She's like because I did it he had to have done it. No it's just like I feel like that like that's just like a funny thing to do cuz like that's just like what other but, Who did you do that with? Didn't you have Joe's HBO Max? No, he has mine. Oh okay. And so one time he like had me blocked that. for like Joe. a little while. <laughs> like the code names on the podcast. Yeah. That's Joe. so funny. We love But Joe. one time he what? He we hadn't talked in like a couple months or something, and so I changed his name to text me back. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Okay, one time she was texting Chris through Lyft. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. Second time I did it, it was um, a, an ex friend had mine, and she was using my HBO. So, and she had her own account. It was like her name, and I changed it to something like questionable. <laughs> the other day, Lila was talking about like some guy. What was it? Would you change your name? <laughs> the other day Lila like is like texting me or calling me about like some guy whatever issues with the guy and he like blocked her and she's like but I'm texting him off a of Google thing right now like a Google number I was she like don't do that don't do that just leave needs him alone to sedate her yeah. <laughs> she uses Google voice all the time to text people who blocked her and honest to god it's fucking genius I actually <laughs> don't get blocked very often but I'm like me neither there are a lot of ways that- <laughs> Fuck. Harry Jowsey released a sex tape. Okay, where, where are people oh. seeing this? Where are people hearing of this? Because I have I've heard okay, nothing. Okay, so. It's been quiet. Harry, <laughs> Harry is sick bummer. You know he was that. expecting like a Jay Alvarez response. <laughs> no, Harry is sick to hear that because he's been promoting with his every last promoting. little being. Really? Yeah, he's been like promoting it. Um, and then I was trying to find it everywhere on the internet. I couldn't. I found all these imagine websites. This, just, well, just Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, wait, we have a sex tape? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, no, I would love to see you watch it and compare. I would love to do that. Honestly. I mean, what, where is this? And we just play it on the canceled podcast. No, but so he was promoting and promoting and promoting. Is and, it on OnlyFans? Um, yeah, it's on OnlyFans. I haven't seen it. But apparently it's it's like... He's fucking someone in the shower and then his phone is outside the shower and it's like you can just see their like silhouettes through the glass, I guess. Okay. <laughs> That's not a, a sex An tape. artsy sex tape? Right. That's a production. But like, no, but beyond that, like, don't you think if I did that, people would be so mad, like you fucking scammer if I was like, I have a sex tape and then it was just like For the glass. sure. But like, that's, I mean. But people are hooting and hollering for Harry's. I don't even are know. Are they I'm, hooting? Who, who's hooting? I, like I said, it's been quiet. I want to see it. Who's it with? I feel like I remember him saying who it was going to be with. It's another OnlyFans girl. I think her name is like... <laughs> I just completely made that up, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just want to let everybody know. How interesting. Have, like, first and last name. I'm sure it's great. He's like hot. I really want to release a sex tape. I'm at that point. And I know I say that all the time. And it's like that. I'm sure the fucking... I feel like it's theaters. overdone at this point. It's I like, just want to do it. Lately, I've been encountering some honkers. Who, and it's like, I you just, have like, to release honkers. a sex tape tomorrow. Who would you make it with? Name names. <laughs> Besides that one. Um, Come on, give the people the, what they name want. Name names. <laughs> I don't know. What about no, they're you? tired Tell of us. You go Ooh. first. Give me, like, let me. Matthew let me. McConaughey. Is he married? Adam uh, Sam. <laughs> Is he mad at me? Dave. <laughs> well, he's married. Matthew McConaughey isn't, right? Um, I think. I don't Obama. Know. What? I'm sorry. We have actually had this conversation before because that is a really smart one. Like you know what I mean. I Although don't Michelle might not. But I, I'm more so. Right. I'm more so wondering if I were to ever do a sex tape, if it should be with someone iconic or if it should just be like, look at me slobbing on this knob. Yeah, maybe you want him to just be like a spot filler that no one's gonna remember. Like what if he was in a ski mask? <laughs> she's like what if he broke into my house and <laughs> fucked me oh my god <laughs> Bitching she's like making a whole porn like, she's like what if he delivered me a pizza and came inside like, 
me. And then get stuck in the dryer. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh Aww, my gosh. I miss our joke. Parts of my daily routine that are critical to my well being are <laughs> taking naps <laughs> and putting on fake eyelashes. They help jumpstart my day, clear my headspace, and give me energy. Liquid IV easily fits into my daily routine amongst those things. When you push your body too hard or just feel run down, it's extremely important to stay hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel better on a day-to-day -day basis. One stick of Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Liquid IV Hydration comes in refreshing flavors like watermelon, lemon lime, strawberry, pina colada, and more. I'm obsessed with liquid IV for when I have a hangover. I think it's amazing. It just like fixes it immediately. If you're sick, it helps. If you're jet lagged, it helps. If you're drink tired. It before you drink. Yes, and then you it don't helps. get a hangover. Liquid IV honestly works for absolutely everything. My lawyer was just saying that she uses it for her kids and gymnastics. My favorite flavor is watermelon. What about you, Brooke? I like lemon lime. <laughs> <laughs> um, one stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. With three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Made with premium ingredients, non-GMO, and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. What makes liquid IV so effective, you might ask? The science of cellular transport technology. Designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. Liquid Liquid IV has donated over 20 million servings globally. Grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TANA at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code TANA at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code TANA. Oh, oh, me and Brooke used to do that all the time. <laughs> to like, to be stuck almost places. to kind of like, like, let's say we were like, I, I, I okay. have to stop saying my like five phrases. Again, one of them that's so embarrassing is finessing a billionaire. But I'm saying <laughs> me and Brooke will be there with the guy and we'll just be like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Like, what does that even mean? Well, I don't think that was even the context. Oh, of do you joke. mean like? Like in porn, like oh. how like your stepsister's stuck in the washer. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so specific. Like, how did she get like, in the washer? Like, yeah, how did you get in the washer? Like, Shit. where did that even come from? And why is stuck porn hot? To people, I don't no, know. Me. Wait, wait. I just, <laughs> Amari, I just. That's your you. new trick in bed. <laughs> no, imagine I'm in bed writing music, and I'm like, hold on, put me in the dryer. Right. <laughs> wait. So I just asked Hannah about this, and I want to know what your thoughts are. Have you heard that kinks are hereditary? I haven't heard that. So if you have like a choking kink, like so does Debbie. <laughs> Debbie is his mom. <laughs> I don't even want to think about. I, I don't, don't really want to sexualize Debbie. I'm sorry about that, Debbie. But <laughs> I don't really think I have any like particular. Oh, Debbie's gonna be sick wait. about that. One. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't mean to. I was no, just trying to okay. make it relatable. No, 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 no I get no, what you're saying. So I get funny. what you're saying. My mom's just over dramatic. Everyone knows this. It's no secret. Oh, Debbie. But like, crazy. it's so true She's, though, because like oh, my mom her. loves like ugly guys. That's like one of my like my like funny little oh, things. Oh my god, I my love. parents liked drugs. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Being drugs being a kink. Like, oh my God. People are like, what's your kink? She's like, ooh. <laughs> Percocet. Imagine. What? I don't even like Percocets. I'm serious. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, but okay. no, I didn't know that. Um, That's weird and scary. Speaking, I guess, of scandals, my personal favorite of scandals past is a good face tune fail. Um, oh. you we are known for. A I good actually face haven't tune had like a crazy Facetune scandal in a while. I like feel like my next pick. I need to just like extra warp a door. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you should do that. Like the how Kim Kardashian will just like erase her whole hand just to like cause a stir. <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna patch <laughs> Don't off. Don't give her ear. any ideas. No, I'm gonna have one ear in my next photo. I promise. I wrote, I wrote <laughs> something about that somewhere. Um, oh, edits out entire arm from recent Instagram photo. Kim's no, literally is the original. <laughs> Did um did you see that TikTok I sent like in our group chat of uh, <laughs> Jordan Woods, like how like in the comments like everyone's talking about how like so it's a close up video like of her face and she's like talking about like, some package whatever from Beyonce whatever, um, and the door the behind package from Beyonce <laughs> right she's like I lost this two years ago I'm like your life is so fucking hard <laughs> like oh my god mm -hmm. like your Ivy Park package got lost at your mom's office like, that is anyways, tough. her face. Like she's like using some app that like 
facetunes your face like on video and the door in the back i'm not kidding is like w- w- i have to show you mm-hmm. can i be honest now. with you i just discovered that app it's oh, called no. pretty up it's <laughs> the new face to new face app whole thing you can complete when you dark. see this you're gonna it's die dark. i just get scared like i, I facetune okay i definitely facetune but i have a like a serious fear of someone seeing me in person and being like huh <laughs> and see if I possess that fear, I would be in a good place. Well, the good thing about you is like you have so much like a raw, unedited like video footage of you available online that it's not like anybody's really being like swindled. You're like, look at me right now. <laughs> but like, you know, you know those girls who you see them in person, you're like, is that her? Me. Okay, okay, okay. I found the TikTok, <laughs> and you need to just view it like briefly. Just look at the door in the back. Wait, Jordy. Look at the, the door, Jordy. What happened? <laughs> That's so crazy. I watched this whole thing and I didn't notice that. I didn't know. I clicked the comments because I want to oh. see if people. And then everyone's like, "That door, that door." And it's yeah, like, how one of those things is where, that like, It warps up and down. Like it's just going. Well, I want to know the app though. That's like where people make their way smaller in Pretty videos. Up. Is that it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how much does it cost? It's free. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> We're all um, in trouble. We're all, and there's another one called Soda. I got put on the other Usually day. a lot of them are legal in the United States for really? good reason. Because of people like you. <laughs> <laughs> she got the law passed. This is <laughs> I like Kim Kardashian to become a lawyer, like specifically right. to get that law. No, that's passed. what you have your lawyer fighting for. <laughs> like, I want equal rights. <laughs> <laughs> At the lip quiver what would, you, what would you say my worst face tune scandal was? Okay, well, Prior to shooting the podcast, we were talking about one photo in particular of Tana that Brooke hasn't seen yet, and I know I know y'all bitches have seen it because she she thought she ate. <laughs> she, she thought she ate. And <laughs> basically, I need to show you this photo because it's this photo of Tana sitting on a swing. I took the photo actually. It's so funny because it's like it to me. It's like a like a mystery because I've seen it commented about so many times. What People are always like a folklore. Yeah, it's like folklore, folklore. <laughs> because it's like. So people are always like, remember that swing photo? Like, like it's just nowhere to be found. The swing photo. The swing photo was the first time I really just tried out refine. <laughs> this oh, was like no. before. So, this was right when Facetune like came out. So I found the photo. I'm gonna show it to you. But it's also so funny to me that you can just Google like Tana Mosho on swing. <laughs> like as if it's like I don't like like mermaid sighting. Like or, like Bigfoot spotted. Like <laughs> I mean the same thing. Look really. at the photo. Look at her arm. Look at the swing. Look at the bags. Like the string of the bag. What? And everyone like the everyone's like girl, 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 girl. There's no way. And this is this is mind you, this is also at my little sister's homecoming photos. Like Tana's Tana. over in the corner, like, get me. Really? Cute. really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Fuck. Um my in my opinion, my worst one like today is the um where I was at the People's Choice Awards. Oh, the one where people just did the like back and forth, the red, the red lip, red dress. Yes. Oh, that was really bad. That one, have you seen that one? I don't think so. Hold on. There's also one. Well, um, to be fair, I I screenshotted a fan edit, and the fan already edited me because y'all got me, and then and then I went and I edited the fuck out of the fan edit. Oh no. So it, like it was just so bad. Hold That's on. the problem though. Is that you really wouldn't be that clockable if Tana didn't literally get the photos from Google herself. So she'll right. Google like Tana Mojo and then find paparazzi photos and then edit those. And uh-huh. I'm like, babe, anyone can. find Find the original. She's like screenshotting down. her Getty and like warping the like Getty like watermark. She, she is. <laughs> I have, I have done that. If anything, though, you can look at that as noble honesty because that means I am unafraid for the public to Google and find the original. She said, yeah. "I'm a real bitch." <laughs> People keep tagging me in those on Twitter. They'll be like, like they'll do the before and afters of my photo. I'm like, okay, well, what are you trying to say? I, I never said I don't edit. Are you I love editing this my <laughs> Wait, what? There's also one photo that like we went so, crazy on one time. Like it's we were so at, dark. It's oh. it is so 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 dark. And I I will say like when I had this scandal, I realized I can't ever act like this. I'm not saying I I'm like I don't still have my days where I I get a little hooty with my face tune. But I will say like I learned a valid valuable lesson from this scandal Let's this see it. day. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! See, that's why I can't go to events. Wait, that's also one thing. That's I mean, so that's funny. not actually why. Like, I'm, I'm just not invited. <laughs> what I also think is so funny about Tana is like, it's like say it's like a group photo, 
So then it's like, oh, like some people don't face tune like as heavy or some people don't do like that much or like, but like she loves the, like sometimes she loves a good cartoon, but then like she's like, a cover, sim, if you yeah, will. She, but then she'll like to cover it up by making everyone else look like cartoons. Literally and every like, single why person do I looks look like, like it's like a fan art drawing. Right, I'm like, why do I have lashes? <laughs> like, what, like what's going on? No, one time I posted a photo of me and Ethan from Shameless and I would like edited myself and keep in mind, Ethan is, he's perfect. Like there's nothing he needs, but sometimes someone, you're so... I am yeah, you, yeah. that you gotta like I am V. So I put like a little face app on him, just a little bit, and he texts me and he goes like, "That's not me. Like, what did you do uh -huh. to the photo?" And I was like, "Ethan, I hate to break it." That's to why you. I get scared to send her. Like, she, she obviously wants to edit herself in a photo that I'm gonna post of like the two of us, but I always I edit it first, or I just edit it myself and like post it. Because I, I, I know I, if yeah. I give it to her, then all of a sudden she's gonna send it back. She looks like a little a little string yeah. bean, <laughs> <laughs> and I look like I'm her dove. <laughs> That's funny. I feel Her like duff. also one thing Her I want to talk about. Duff. I feel like I'm speaking on behalf of like the guys or the girls that just don't wear like a lot of makeup or like don't like, you know, put on glam, things like that. But it's so funny to me. And I feel like other people like feel this way. Like when girls on Instagram or guys, it doesn't matter, are using like pretty bitch one, two, three, like the filter. Movie, and then it's movie. like they have lashes and like, but like on like their stories. Yeah. So like, you know how it's like a face filter that just like puts like makeup on you. Uh -huh. But then you'll have like someone in it that like doesn't do that. Like then you're like, you're like recording yourself or whatever. And you like put, put it over to like, like with Bryce. Yeah, like, and I then, like, love all of a sudden Bryce has like lipstick on lashes and like, <laughs> it's like, why would you post that? Like, come on. He gets like, like a full cute baby face. I know exactly. All the time. Like, why, why I glitch like Hunter all the time. Hunter has like a beard and it's like, there's like lip, a lip I know. filter over the she beard. There's like highlighter on his nose bridge. Like. She <laughs> did one at the club the other night where she filmed literally, it was only a guy. And so she, that means like, she had no intent to film herself at all. And she still swiped all the way over to cute baby face. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm like what? Well, I think my thumb just goes there, and then it, it just gets posted. Lila also, does that all the time too. Or like she'll be like on live, and then like the face filter will like go to me, and I'm like, I I'm getting out of this live, okay? Because I just feel uncomfortable right now. <laughs> will Smith slapped Chris Rock in the face at the Oscars. He merely rocked his. Can you tell me what you guys think about that? I just feel like people aren't gonna like what I have to say. I I'll tell it you. was iconic. It was hot. Hit that motherfucker! <laughs> just kidding. Oh my god. See, I don't know how I feel about it because I will stand behind Will Smith. Okay, yeah. he's taught me everything. He could have stabbed know. him. I would have been like, I'm sorry. I know, sorry. but then, but then I also see the side of it that's like, okay, it's comedy. Like, uh, there, you we shouldn't put any limitations on comedy because then it's like everybody's oh, gonna get offended. Wild. Everybody oh. in that audience was someone's wife, someone's husband, someone's daughter, someone's, you know, like there's, I think it was a low blow, like, cause she had like to her medical condition. Like it was, a I, low yeah, blow. I definitely and I, do you can get just that. Tell, like the way her face drops, she probably is just like very just maybe, like, up. upset about that or insecure about that or whatever. Cause you could see it really upset her. And I think it was more just like a protective instinct of like, don't like, yeah, like but it was to me, it was like that he, he laughed about it at first and then he didn't. But what I will say from the other side of it, I rem I don't know if you remember when I had that like extreme hair loss situation that was happening <laughs> and it sound it's like oh haha ha, funny but like it's so emotional <laughs> oh my god you know it was like it was after a couple months after I first I had remember. COVID and my hair was falling out in enormous chunks like I have videos I'll show you but it's so emotional to lose your hair because it's like that, that's like the thing that makes you feel pretty and like it takes so long to grow hair. Yeah, so 100%. it's like if you lose your hair, that's like the worst thing ever. Me bleaching like it all off. <laughs> yeah, me bleaching it all Wait, off and then I'm in the mirror like. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm confused about though because I don't know like a ton about the situation but I saw like on TikTok like people like memeing together like her saying like, oh, I don't give a fuck what you say about my bald head or something like that. She's like owning it, right? Yeah, like, that's what, I think like, that he probably just thought that they could take it because those. I mean, Jada and Will are both so funny and known say, like, the for like family on Earth. exactly. So I think that he probably just thought like that that was fine. Mm -hmm. I I get both sides of it. For yeah, sure. and obviously, like obviously, all jokes aside, like violence isn't the answer. But like, and that's, at the Oscars, yeah. could and you imagine shit. being Millie rocked by Will Smith? I know. Um, I would. I would dig in hole and an honor in. maybe. <laughs> like holy shit! Like, I think it was that like a little selfish though. Like. The other like it, it kind of took away from everybody else who was like celebrating them like yeah I saw some Twitter that. thread of like all the other like iconic moments that happened and I was like like no like nobody no was talking about anything yeah. else except for that like yeah that is kind of that is kind of wild I want to get slapped by Will Smith low key <laughs> yeah, on some kinky shit I just want to be adopted oh that's true <laughs> I'm his long lost son oh, wait, my, oh oh you're his long lost <laughs> little black. <laughs> 
<laughs> Amari Smith. <laughs> it sounds good. Right? It flows. It it. Wait. I really just inhaled a hot and spicy like it was like actual oxygen. I ate a Chipotle burrito in one bite. Yeah, that's I Coachella love... is in two weeks. And in the last 24 hours, I've had Taco Bell and McDonald's. Dude, this is our this is going to be our last episode to come out before Coachella. Really? What should we discuss? I am so excited for Coachella. I'm so excited for Coachella. It's too. really it's funny like... right now seeing like the lengths everyone is going to to try to get oh, an artist pass. Oh, you don't know the things I'm going to end up having to do for an artist pass. I thought mine was secured. You like, get a train rain on you you're like I, i'm going to coachella <laughs> straight to palm springs <laughs> <laughs> all the spences just flew out I swear all but i was like brag like i was like bo not bragging but i'm I'm like everyone else is worried about their artist passes and i'm like ah oh, like good thing i have one have mine and then it just got swept out from under me <laughs> who are you gonna get one from yeah mo oh wait and then and then he said they're really hard to come by this year. Oh, wait, Mo, we... you're so handsome and smart <laughs> and successful. And I forgive you if you can't get me one. She's like, but the weather in Palm Springs is beautiful. But I just won't be able to go because like all my friends have artist passes and, and I don't. So like if it, by any miracle you happen to come upon an extra one. By any like miracle lighting. he happens to come upon the canceled podcast. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm going to send this clip to <laughs> She starts gaslighting him. She's like, you're going to leave me, a little woman, alone in Palm a Springs. A woman? With <laughs> like, yeah, me, a woman. <laughs> that actually happened at Coachella. I yeah. about that. I feel like he'll Never forget. For me. That was my last Coachella, though. The, like, crazy one. That was the last? Ex. Yeah. Wow, same. It's mm. been a minute. That's so I'm crazy. nervous. Coachella is just, it's a different, it's a different breed. It's the way my... everyone acts happiest place on earth I like i can't more. imagine anything in the world better than coachella i, I just love the weather because like and then just i like don't the three I, days of vibes and well what sucks is like leaving and you like can't breathe you know like when you oh i just get dust. so oh my cold. god my little popcorn lung gone burst in the uh -huh. desert this time oh my god I absolutely i'm just excited because we were friends last time but we didn't go together and didn't see each other at all we saw each other we for like, like two seconds we weren't as close yeah no not at all but yeah it, it's and just exciting. I mean, I've never gone to Coachella in a big group either. I've always only gone with one friend. Really? Actually, I just made that up. I just lied for no it's reason. So much, <laughs> it's so much fun, like, as no, a I big group. Lied. Because then, ever, like, the pregame, like, everyone's getting ready. Like, people are getting glam over there. People are taking pictures out there. People are like, putting on their outfits. Like, it's just, like, there's so much, like, like the vibes are high. I and just then, love like, I oh. wonder, like, since it's been so long, too, it's not like you have, like, there's no one like that's you can't look up like Coachella fashion or like get inspiration or, or anything because it's like it was three years ago. One hundred percent. I feel like the fashion this year is going to be like way, vastly different. Oh yeah, I think it's way more laid back. We were talking about this the other day. I don't think it's going to be costumey at yeah, all. Yeah, I looked at Isabella mm -hmm. last night and I was like, "What do I wear to Coachella?" And she goes, "Not a costume." <laughs> <laughs> you go, at all. Valid. Yeah, I think I want to give like Haley Bieber. Obviously, I know. Me Dollar too. General. Well, Haley my thing Bieber. is, I'm bringing. I, I. Th there will be a jacket with me every single day because that, that's how I ruin my Coachella experience every single time is being freezing cold at night. You it does cold get at chilly night? at night. Oh. Uh, you know how I'm, how insufferable I am when I'm cold too. That's like the one thing. Oh, oh yeah, like oh, a little Brooke tequila will... shot could warm you up, or even honestly, no, what that's I found, me. I just drink fireball till there's honestly no... warms you up sometimes, which is like so obviously disgusting and like awful. But like, I just drink until there's, there's no temperature at Coachella. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, I'm until my so feet don't excited. hurt. We're gonna see. No so, imagine Ari. Like I can't wait for Ari at the City Girls. Oh, City Girls. The are City playing? Girls are playing at Coachella. Yes. Oh my. God. Ari's going to. I know, and it's like Billy. Billy's there. Like every. Like I just feel like it's so. So good. It's such a good lineup. Is Kanye still performing at Coachella? Remember when he said he like wasn't if Billy did or whatever? Oh I shit! Don't know. Like whatever the fuck. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Ima imagine Billy being like, "Well, sorry." Like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, so no. funny. So exciting. She probably well, loves it. She's like, he's so fucking pressed over me. <laughs> I would honestly, I would eat that shit up if Kanye and I were beefing online. I'd be right. Like, this is so fun. Although there's no like subgenre of people more scary than Kanye fans. Yeah, yeah that's actually, so true. they are actually very scary. When I like see like even like their comments on like Billy's posts and shit, like after everything was happening, I was like, these people are fucking crazy. If you want to invest in something other than a new trendy crypto coin, Masterworks is for you. Trust me. But seriously, if you listen to the news or talk to your friends or read your DMs, it's like everyone's got some exciting new thing they're investing in or buying. But all that doesn't mean you should throw your money away at every crazy thing when there are alternatives out there with pretty impressive track records. I'm talking about contemporary art. No, I'm serious. And you don't need to be rich rich to do it. Masterworks can make it a reality. Masterworks is a really cool startup based in New York City that lets you purchase shares that represent an investment in famous artworks from really sick artists like Banksy and Picasso. 
It may be good for your financial future, but it's even cooler to imagine going out to brunch with the squad and dropping that you're an art collector. Masterworks is blowing up. They already have over 300,000 members, but you can get priority access by going to masterworks.art slash Tana. That's masterworks.art slash Tana. See important Regulation A disclosures and the offering circular at masterworks.io slash about slash disclosure. Thank you, Masterworks, for sponsoring today's podcast. What do you guys think the most annoying part of your body is to shave? My gooch. My asshole. Gooch. Yeah, like uh, that area. And then have you guys oh. ever tried nearing? I feel like this is something like Wait, I Wait, you love could to talk you could about. probably teach us a lot about shaving your asshole. I <laughs> <laughs> You just call me a faggot? No. No, but this is a real concern of mine because I, I, there's an, it doesn't matter what angle I come from. I have not perfected it. Yeah, so, what's your angle? Um, I, sometimes well, I like like an un, just straight like, you know, like you're just like. I, I'll do like a full sumo squat on the ground. Okay, okay. So I'm. What's that? What, what is that? I have one. I have one. Ooh, I'll take okay. it. I'll just frisbee it. Oh, I love Thank you. you. <laughs> so. <laughs> Basically, we got a hot and spicy on the set. Today's video is sponsored by McDonald's. I Arrived. wish. Arrived. Um, Arrived. So basically, what I'll do is like, I will obviously I'm really flexible. So like I could like if I wanted to put my leg up on the wall, like I literally could. And just I like, can too, but it's but then, it's just like maybe it's the razor what, I'm using. What razor, what razor do, you do you use? I well I use a men's Gillette five blade. Mm -hmm. I like the Venus what? ones with the little bars of the shaving cream. No, because on them. then I can't get them close to my yeah. asshole. Yes, the no, best, get a spread. The best no, razors. I can, but like it's really like you gotta really get in there. The well, dollar not, shave I, not club. Not like the little one. literal hole. That's the one I use. Dollar shave or club, I, the six blade one. So wait, I, good. no, I think that is the one I use actually because I started ordering them on GoPuff. Oh, you okay. Can do yeah, you, and you can yeah. get them like literally like Walgreens, CVS, like said Dollar six Shave Club. Ads for free. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, so Best basically, what I'll do razor. is like, because I don't really have to like shave my whole ass. I like, I don't really grow like, I like. There's some hair, but what I'll do is like, I have like my manscape trimmers, and I'll just like Maybe go I over my that. ass, get rid of like some like any like. Li yeah, we love manscaped. I did a manscape brand deal too, um, but the shit's actually good. So I'll take the trimmer, like go across my ass, a like down, because like, just like to get like literally any like tiny hairs off like just you know just to be like yeah, just clean extra bald you know and then like once you get to like extra the like crack bald. area what i'll do is i'll like take the razor and i'll go like bald? down like as close to like the asshole as possible like down down other side and then what i'll do is i'll turn the razor the other way like yeah you gotta hit yeah and then like way, get, you gotta no, like I'm... get in there and go out why like, is this <laughs> yeah that's what this? i i i've been i that's too much information well we'll talk about it later you know what's really hard too just like really getting in the pussy lip like, yeah, see, know, I don't have like trouble with, there, like, I really like, don't have trouble with that. I'm I'm a, the most grateful to not be some, I think razor burning is honest, razor burn. <laughs> <laughs> I think razor burn is like hereditary or something because I, I, yeah. I don't think I've ever had like I a get problem razor with burn that. if I like really don't. But I can, I can shave every day and I won't have a problem. But it's just like, it's just the mechanics of it. I it's can't hereditary ever, like, work or out. <laughs> have you ever yeah. tried like nairing? No, but does it burn? Well, if you leave it on too long, Yes, and then also oh. I got this other stuff like so first I started with Nair And then I switched to this other stuff that I saw on TikTok. like some it was like a, a porn star had recommended it Like it was like it's called like bare you know. bombs we, should, we, we need bomb. to ask Anal Princess what she so then, to shave her asshole. You know exactly. Her asshole looks great. You know how Nair's like lotion Yeah, this shit's like a like a bomb like a paste almost like like you could take like a stick like a wooden like popsicle stick and like spread it on you oh. and it doesn't smell bad it doesn't hurt at all like no, Nair I feel like can start to burn that shit's so wait hairless. send it to me I really need it I'll send it to you have you guys ever bleached is... your asshole uh uh I've like tried but okay. I don't imagine, imagine you like call Miss Kim over and you're like <laughs> can I get a, ble a bleaching tone up top and down bottom honest to god I'm so excited I'm about to go back blonde I'm oh, so fucking excited I love when you have a little root I just am so over this root I feel like a fucking I can't it looks cute. What are you gonna? Do you have any? Sorry to go back to this, but do you have any idea what you're gonna wear to Coachella at all? No idea in the ever. I think I have to just completely put it in the hands of someone else, or I'll spiral. Yeah, and that's like true. I actually, I actually can't. And to be honest, like no matter what I'm wearing, it's gonna be like falling off hour one. Like, I just, <laughs> I be, I don't know why that happens to me. Ugh. Tell Revolve to everyone wear an outfit if we just fucking cough up the tickets. Shit, bro. They want me to sell my soul. Wait, so you're not going to get ass shots before Coachella, right? I really wanted to get ass shots before Coachella, but they don't work. They take four to six weeks. Because of, like, the collagen shit? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's just bruising you don't need right before Coachella. Yeah, No, I think the bruising would be gone, but they, they wouldn't activate. 
until after Coachella, even if I got them. So there's no point. She said, Holy Spirit activates. Holy Spirit activates. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go full like boy clothes this year. Like sweats? Or do you no, mean like, like probably like super streety? Like a big pant, tiny top, and then like a jacket. You're going to wear some overalls? I wish. I told Tana <laughs> I wanted to wear overalls. She said I technically could. <laughs> you I, love you know, Do you know overalls. yesterday in my closet I saved you a few pair of overalls? That's really, that's the most thoughtful thing you've ever done for me. I love overalls. I love them. It's such a like versatile outfit. It is. I did wear overalls to Coachella one year, I believe. I had like no shirt on underneath or something. And then like overalls. I, I literally then... saw, I was looking at your Instagram the other day because I was like, I want to wear boy clothes. Uh -huh. So I was like, what does Amari have? <laughs> <laughs> and You're you like... had a really good like jacket and pant set. Wait, which one? It was like is it painted. The... Guys, what custom. are your, what are your go-to nugget sauces and why? I don't know. They already clicked out because of how loudly you're chewing into your microphone. <laughs> no one's left. That's so funny. Um, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour is good, but I like like ranch and buffalo. But then, do you guys know. remember when they had like they? it was like spicy mac sauce or something like that? Or like it was so brief. It was sriracha mac sauce or something. They had it for like I feel like Ooh. two months. And then just disappeared off the face of the earth. I feel like they need to bring that back. Are you guys opposed to double dipping? No, I and know. I remember the first time someone ever said that to me. I was like, I had this neighbor girl, and I was like at her house, and she was Sounds like, like a whore. And she was just like, no, but I was like, I was like six, six seven. Oh. She was a whore though. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> dumb fucking slide. Um, no, and she was like, don't double dip. And then I kept just eating normally because I didn't know what she meant. And then she's like, you keep double dipping. And I was like, what does that mean? And she was like, you took a bite and you dipped it back in there. And I literally just remember looking at her like, bitch. I don't what? know why that, you would think that that would be something that would bother mm -hmm. me, but it really does. I would eat anything. I would eat off the floor. I'd eat, like, I don't have a weird thing I do about eat that. I off the floor. <laughs> me too. I don't mind double dipping. I'm like not really scary. like a germaphobe at all. I feel like if you care a lot about double dipping, then you're just being selfish at this point. Because what if someone likes to enjoy something with sauce every bite, you know? Yeah. Like you're I'm taking like, away you from their experience. Way, like, get, get your, your own, own sauce. Separate, get your own separate mm -hmm. dip. Yeah. Rat. And like, <laughs> you're, like people's hands are already like touching like, and like, going into shit. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> you guys are moving. Where are you moving? Are you excited for your new house? I'm sweating. I'm mm -hmm. moving I've actually never four, five, six. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've never set foot in the house, actually, but I am excited no matter what. Do you know none of them? Have, I really was just like, guys, I got us a house. Tana loves a good blind, blind house situation. You know? She absolutely does. Although I've seen photos of it. It's so it's really beautiful. Yeah, you guys don't have a yard, though, this one, though. Yeah, you? it's like a tower. No pool parties this summer, bitch. Don't pull up. Yeah, I know. That's we a have little... a roof. <laughs> we have a roof party. <laughs> um, Did you see that in the group chat today? Frankie Jonas DM me and he's like, where are you guys oh. staying for Coachella? I was like, I'm going to tell Tana. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, come with us. Come stay with us. It's him and Aluma Tati. You guys know her? Oh, I'm, like, I'm like, shooting with her soon. I'm so excited. Yeah. I love She's her. really good. I actually was just packing up all my stuff and I like have set aside a few boxes of shit that I like immediately want when I move in. And it's literally just like a Frankie Jonas t-shirt and like socks. And, like, I'm a pickle, such a Frankie like, Jonas fan. Mala. She's like, immediate keep. <laughs> it's so funny like that's like the most or interesting part about you guys moving is like what makes it to the new house versus like like for example your yeezy slides were stuck in storage or missing in some box but like she'll have like latex yellow knee high boots in her closet <laughs> i like really had those and it's like how did those get here you should have seen her yesterday like going through and like showing ari the clothes and like him like telling her like no get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and she'll make an excuse for anything that you should have it would have been done so well for you to make an actual video out of that because it was it's so funny the things that she'll hold on to like literally there was like a full in and out workers costume and she's like i'm gonna need that oh yeah there are so many things that she was like put that in the costume box put that in the costume box because a bitch might need to turn around and be a, a slutty playboy cowgirl for no fucking reason but then That's like the true. soap and loofah costume she's like i need that <laughs> oh that is coming God. with us she bought that years ago hasn't even touched it it's never put it on i don't think well she's always <laughs> like i just don't have closet space like nothing holds all my clothes the clothes in question are like literally like a traffic cone that's a dress <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually got rid of everything I own yesterday. You should, it's like 25 I'm really boxes. proud of you. I forget um, who like said that to me one time, but someone said like the phrase like travel light through life or something. And after that, I was like, I'm throwing everything away all the time. And I do like literally probably twice a week. I'll donate like half my Yeah, closet. I've never That's ever good. done that. And we're about to send everything to Goodwill. And I'm just like so excited to like just. It makes know. you feel so good though. Because it's almost mm. like. I know last night all the makeup, um, Kaylee. Is taking it to a women's shelter today. And I'm oh, that's so really excited. nice. I'm so excited. It was also funny, like running into like guys' clothes. We're like, 
Like, what what guy did you hook up with that this belonged to? Oh, that's like a <laughs> like, cute little, like, memory box. Like, this one's from him. This with, one's we from were him. literally, last night, we just kept holding up random boxer briefs trying to guess who they were. Whose they were. Oh, my God. Do you guys? There were some rickety ones in there, too. It was like, ooh, I, oh, I, I little, don't like, know who marks. this was. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. What kind of underwear do you wear? Me? Yeah. Um... Do you mean like what? Like I wear boxer briefs? Oh, okay. And then... I like, feel like that's the only acceptable answer. Ethica, Calvin Klein. Tommy Hilfiger has some good ones. What kind does Ty wear? Boxer briefs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you don't know by now, whore? <laughs> <laughs> I do. But yeah, boxer briefs are just the best way to go. I've never understood... I mean, like, unless I'm on, like, OnlyFans, like, shooting in, like, some briefs and, like, you know, hiking them up my ass or something, but, like... Do you, like, hike it up your butt? Like, you show the bottom part of your butt? You don't, like, take them down? I'll do both. And also, like, I'll, like, you can see my full ass on my OnlyFans, too. Your asshole? No, not my asshole. What the fuck? Or maybe you can. I don't know. Subscribe and find out. <laughs> would you, how, what would be your cost or your price for showing your asshole on OnlyFans? I'm like, about to, to everyone to or just, like, to one person? To one person. Like, a, a loyal fan. A couple thousand if it's just to one person. Oh, like, a couple thousand? I'm like, if I'm 50 bucks. If it's to <laughs> one person, like, shit. And, like, I'm also, I'm doing it sure. literally out here to feel something at that point. <laughs> Like, I, I love things like makes you feel closer to people. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like I don't know if it's just to one person, then it's like not you a know? biggie. Mm-hmm. It's like whatever. But if it's like everyone, like if it's like like a sex tape, like like that's a whole different story. How much would you like for a sex tape? How much money would you take? Five bucks. I want to do it so goddamn bad. <laughs> there are certain people that I would pay to make a sex tape with me. You know? Oh, that's valid. Oh yeah, that's very valid. Who? Well, Names. <laughs> Names. Uh, my, I mean, my new love of my life, you guys know him. Bloom Nutrition makes it easy and delicious to give your body what it needs to feel your best, inside and out. We've all had a bit too much to drink before and woken up with a splitting hangover. If you're trying to make it to brunch, a workout, or anything else after a night out, Bloom can help you prevent the next hangover with just one scoop in the morning. I've noticed my morning routine can really make or break how my day is going to play out. Whether I'm hitting the gym or hitting the snooze button, I make sure I'm going to have my best day every day by starting with Bloom. The greens powder from Bloom is here to help with bloating. Their greens and superfood powder blend fights bloating, helps digestion, increases natural energy, and keeps your skin glowing. Bloom greens are packed with over 50 nutrients, including whole fruits and veggies, fiber, probiotics, antioxidants, and more, all in one easy-to-drink formula. Mix it in with water or a smoothie to add to your daily routine. It comes in four delicious flavors. Coconut, mixed berry, citrus, and original. Bloom is made for you, whether you're trying to recover from a big meal or night out or you're a fitness buff. Over 350,000 people trust Bloom to feel better every single day. And right now, Bloom Nutrition is offering our listeners 15% off your purchase of their greens and superfoods blend when you go to bloomnew.com slash Tana. That's B-L-O-O-M-N-U dot com slash Tana for 15% off your purchase. Go to bloomnew.com slash Tana for 15% off. Thank you, Bloom, for sponsoring today's podcast. Thanks, Bloom. I'm like, I went to Arizona. (laughs) Our really good friend DJ passed away this week, and I'm just like not a person, I think, from it. So I'm sorry, canceled listeners. I have been ever so literally spiraling. It has been rough and tough. It's been a really hard week. I think for everyone in LA, DJ was just like everyone's friend. He was like just perfect. Yeah. I'm so sad about it. So I really don't think I'm like a human this week, but obviously we want to give you an episode and whatever. But I, I feel like a lot of like times when people pass away, it's like, I don't want to say it's not shocking, but it's, like, more of an understandable situation. But we all were just with him in Vegas, like, at after party. Yeah, it was very out of nowhere. Like, you know, and and it was just, like, a very tragic accident. And it was just, like, every... I feel like everyone in L.A. is, like, really fucked up from it because he was, like, everyone's bad. And so funny. Absolutely. I also... Yeah, there's definitely been, like, a dark cloud over, like, everyone, like... Like, right Just around. Yeah, and I think it's it's just weird. I, I can't imagine doing anything without dj like ever like even just like here, we'd or, be like let's smoke after like, yeah or even like while we're moving like he'd find a way to like come stop by and like and like help spark out up. and oh it just smoke like i never i literally never want to smoke again he was always my person like we were just talking i was talking about all these memories with him like the other day with a friend where like we'd be like shopping and shit like during christmas time and he would just like pull up and help us do you remember that uh-huh. we were like christmas shopping he was like carrying the bags yeah. backwards like even Smacking coachella people out of your way 
even Coachella is gonna be like so fucking weird without DJ there yeah. with Charlie and that and Charlie Jordan. It was Charlie Jordan's like real best friend too. So I think that's I just feel so sad for her. Everyone would always say like DJ is to Charlie what like Ari is to me, kind of like they have very similar energy. Yeah. And it's just like all, all week I keep looking at Ari and I'm like, I can't imagine. Like how that would feel going on. Do you know Charlie's never ever played a show without DJ there? I know it makes me sick for her. I like I saw her story yesterday though, and I, I will say that like I like the way that she's saying like I'm gonna channel his energy and like trying to be positive and, like the way <coughs> that he was. <coughs> I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. She's like, so and it, 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 of course it's it's so sad and it's such a terrible horrible thing that happened. But it's like you do have all these like be like amazing memories with him and like you can account for like a million times that you were like had the best time Absolutely. he made you laugh was, and stuff so it's like 100 percent. of course be grateful for that yeah. yeah i was going to my camera roll yesterday trying to find like old videos or pictures with him and i like, couldn't find any but i'm like i have literally a million like memories with him I because know. of the fact that like I, i'm not the type to like really like all record things you know like we're having fun but like sometimes yeah. when i'm just like living in the moment like I don't care to, you know, and I feel like I was like, if I can't find anything with him, that means I literally was just like living in the moment so hard with him and just having so much fun. He was like, just always doing so, like walking around with like 15 Louis Vuitton bags, like throwing them and like, or like any, like at TanaCon, I honestly remember like shit was going to shit and it was like, <laughs> obviously, um, and it was like Michael <laughs> Weist kind of like, I don't, it obviously wasn't like just his fault. It was like my fault as well. But I'm saying like, everyone was like, yo, like fuck Michael, you know? Yeah. And you know, Michael was like riding around on the Segway. Uh -huh. I remember at one point DJ was like, get the fuck off that Segway and go do something. <laughs> and then got on the Segway. Yeah, on the segway. And DJ was just like roaming around on the Segway, like trying to like actually we help. The, he was more helpful than fucking Michael himself. Like uh -huh. ever we were so in the weird. parking lot. And this is such a funny video of him, like in the parking lot going over a speed bump and like, <laughs> I saw the Isabella <laughs> post today. Yeah, it was like, so holy funny. shit. He was just always so fucking funny and oh my god, I can't I can't even. I've just been down atrocious. Literally so everyone's been spiraling. I think it's it's weird. Mm. It's super weird and like I don't even know. We dedicate this episode to you, DJ. We really do and life and every back whatever and oh I'm I want to spiral. <laughs> I'm so I know, sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I know it's awful. But yeah, so if this episode I've been um utterly awful to watch it's because i feel utterly awful but you're right though like charlie's energy towards it one thing that i will say is like because that's the thing is like dj brought so many people together so there were so many people and i'm sure you feel the same way like bad bella bad zach mikey tua like hannah Erman, like all these people just hitting me up and everyone's kind of like but like i'm gonna live for him and like he wouldn't want because he's he was yeah. just like DJ would be sick to think all these people were that's, so sad. That's like, so true. And it's, I mean, it's the same way if, like, it happened to one of us. Like, I would never want to know that my friends are, like, like, stop having fun, stop enjoying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, yeah. like, you want to see your friends, like, happy and thriving and, like, just doing their thing and living their best life, so. Yeah, 100%. But I'm just... So anyways, <laughs> Facetune fails, am I right? I know, I'm sorry. It does but, feel like we've just talk, kind of talked about like the most stupid shit ever this episode, but. No, I know, I know. I mean, well, the other, the last episode we did with Mike made me happy to sometimes have some like substance in an episode at least. I know, so yeah. we just tried to make sure this one had none at all. Yes. <laughs> We're like, so how do you shave your asshole? 55 minutes. I think talking about like hair removal is like, I love talking about hair removal. I don't understand I why just, no one I talks love... about it on TikTok. I think it's so interesting. Like, me too. That I could love be a niche for you, right? About... I was going to make a TikTok the other day and be like, why the fuck does no one talk about hair removal? I need to know. How do y'all get your body hair off? And I'm not talking about your legs. I'm talking about your Gucci coochie. We no, should all Gucci. get lasered. But my problem is, what if. I would love laser. Like, I'm, what I'm worried about is like, what if in a few years I just like. It, something comes over me and I want to have a big bush. I, 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 well, I really hope that doesn't come over you. <laughs> you never know. I, I mean, bushy I kind brook. of understand. Not bushy brook. <laughs> bush Schofield. Bush I think she's calling you that at some point. It's fine. Bush Schofield. Oh my um, God. What? You, you were remember in me? Miami when we were watching porn and then I decided I was going to call you Oh, bush, she go got field. convinced that I had a bush. She had, did have a bush. I, so I literally she was, had a bush. So I was projecting was my bush. Projecting. <laughs> I was projecting my bush onto Brooke. Like, honestly. Some people oh like God. a bush, though. Like, like that. How what? do you prefer a dick? Like, do you prefer it, like, completely clean shaved? Do you prefer To it? be honest, I don't think I ever even noticed that. I agree. Really? Ever. Unless it's like, damn. And I'm in the <laughs> unless you have, yeah, unless you have like, like a straight up, like, like where bush? is it situation? But like, <laughs> Wait, a what? Like a where, where is, is it? it? <laughs> like, where's the dick? <laughs> oh it's like God. tangled. I mean, I will say hairy balls don't hit because I'd be, I be sucking balls. Like, <laughs> someone clip that. <laughs> I'd be sucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> 
let the people know. Well, yeah, you don't want to like. Like, do you ever get, get, one, get like, like a ball hair stuck in, like your in your teeth? teeth. Fucking disgusting. Has that ever happened to you? I, I'll be honest, it's happened to me. I also not that ass. I can immediately recall. So we well, you know, good. Dan. No, but I just mean like so like um, but like just put put the pieces together. What I'm trying to say, you know, who's the, like the most cleanest ass you've ever eaten? N- name with names. <laughs> with <the> name names. <laughs> name names. <laughs> <laughs> the like shaking too. <laughs> Say it ain't so. <laughs> I don't know. I actually really don't. Do you know. eat ass, Amari? Yeah. Okay. Hashtag team eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when that like first started? What team eat ass? Yeah, team eat ass. And it's like, do you eat ass? Like, are you supposed like when it finally got talked about? Like, is it bad that ass? I look down on people who don't? <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like people. If a guy think- won't eat my ass, like you don't like me. If you don't, if you don't want to suck my toes, you don't like me. It's like well, well, you no know what it gives. Well, me? You're a little questionable. Okay, you're you're Miss Hygiene Queen over here. Oh, I know. I'm like maybe she does need the ball hairs in her teeth so she'll floss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That one was so mean. But you know how like DJ Khaled, for example, said like like he like tried to like boast that he doesn't eat his wife's vagina. Yeah, which was, that was that was crazy. crazy. <laughs> like that was crazy. and it's like that's not a flex. I feel that same way about like you're DJ like, Khaled. You, you need to be eating pussy. Right. Yeah. But also, DJ imagine, Khaled's imagine my biggest that, like, ick. Oh no, yeah. I used to, okay. That's Brooke and I always. That's Ryan and Brooke's like thing. Honest to God, those being like, what would it take for you to fuck DJ? Like, there's we'll just compare about anybody him. to DJ Khaled. Yeah. Okay, so confession. When I was in high school. I, I like had DJ Khaled on Snapchat and he had like a public Snapchat you could like send in snaps to and like it was when what he was like first becoming phrases? a thing. And um but you feel like what? What are DJ Khaled's phrases? Um like major key alert. Yeah, uh, like he, when uh, he would, no he this is like also he would like film his lions in his yard, he'd be like, Lion! Like on Snapchat. And I was like, this guy is so fucking annoying. I would like hate watch him. Like uh-huh. and um I would send him snaps and be like Fuck you! You're so fucking annoying, blah, blah, blah. Like I hate you, I hate you, and just send them to him. You I send DJ Khaled hate mail. No, fully, fully, all the time on Snapchat in high school. Did it and help then, you? What? Did it make you feel good? Honestly, like it gave me something. Okay. It gave me something. I was like, Listen, just that's all that you matters. You never know if he's gonna fucking open it. Obviously, he Us didn't. But later, like, major like, killer. If it does something and then, for you. No, and then how full circle this is. Um, the VMAs. We go on the carpet because we were like doing the MTV stuff. And the person that walks behind me, like the person following oh, me, like, so, was DJ was, Khaled. He's like, Lion! And I was like, ah! <laughs> ah! Why? I was like, why? Was oh my God. I forgot that he was like a very normal, like nice individual at that VMA zone. Well, now I feel bad for the slam. I didn't even speak to him, but I was just like, oh my mm. God. Like, I, I take really it don't all feel back. like he's that bad. Like that one vid, Justin Bieber video. I feel like he looks pretty good. I would just it's cringe. not his looks. I'm not coming for his looks. I'm genuinely coming for his like uh, well, demeanor. Yeah. And pro- but then again, I'm like I'm like I, I hate justice, his online presence. Justice present. for DJ Khaled. Look wife. at my online. I'm like I hate the way he acts on the internet. Tana, what? Tana, you have you're fine. No room, no room. <laughs> no, DJ Khaled, I I honestly just want to take this moment to apologize. He's my to favorite DJ. DJ. <laughs> True story. Like oh, okay, now back to the slander. Is is DJ Khaled anyone's like like favorite DJ? Is he a DJ for I, real? I, I thought that was like a, a joke. Producer type thing, or I don't even know because you hear like major key alert before he like. Ew. What's Wait, the other uh, thing he says? Um, What's like DJ? Ka- There's like a number one phrase of his. I don't know. I don't really. I have to know. It's that. eating me alive. One second. Like, we got London. On another the track. one. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> like he's like, I'm making another fucking banger. I'm like, oh, no, I'm babe, that's one. Drake. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I want to have my sex tape with Drake. I thought you were gonna say DJ Khaled. No. Imagine I just dropped a sex tape with DJ Khaled. That would break the internet. <laughs> I'm just eating his pussy. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. She's his bushy. Fire, like, his bushy. Also, like, okay, him, like, he's saying he doesn't eat out his wife. Like, would you want all that facial hair all up in your gush? Yeah, if I'm married to you and you Clearly don't eat me she out, does, you're yeah. weird. How did they get as far as to be married with, with that being such a blaring? Some people don't like, like, some girls don't like it. But, like, who? Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly scary to me. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you don't like it, fine. But if you're like, oh, need that bitch's pussy. And that's like your wife. Like, and. Yeah. Like, cheat, babe. <laughs> so, don't cheat. Don't cheat. Yeah, don't cheat. No cheating. She doesn't cheat either. She's just kidding. She's never cheated in her entire life. What the fuck? Why would you do that? <laughs> I cheated my way through college. Did that in high school. Didn't even get a degree. One time in high school, I took, um, so I had AP stats my senior year. And basically, like, I had first period, 
there were student aides that were literally just student aides, but they would like find the test keys and they would send it to like AP stats group chats. So we had the answers or you could find the test online sometimes if you knew the chapter, that kind of stuff. So, and it would be like, like AP stats is very in depth. Like it's very like this yeah. sentence is points, this sentence is points, this sentence is points. So you need to find like the exact way to do these things. And we had graphing calculators. And whenever we would take like multiple choice exams, like I'd have like- Oh, my... would you just type it into your calculator? Yes, but they had like, like they would check- TI-84? Yes, but they would check what like the calculators f- to make sure people weren't doing camera? that. Oh, so I developed my own code. It's $100. That was like, like obviously Design like you can't write- Like answer A, B, like C, D, blah, 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 whatever. Like I developed my own code, like 12 means this, like- 52 means this, like I developed my own code. So when I, my graphing calculator got checked, didn't matter. And then, so AP stats, we are finals and midterms that are graded on a curve. And everyone in the group chat was like, oh, um, let's just get a couple wrong so we don't look too sus. And I was like, oh, and I don't did give you a get fuck. 100% on uh, purpose? Oh, I was like, I don't give a fuck about y'all. I'll fuck up the curve. I just want a good grade. I got 134%. And I oh, did not care. Oh, you're going straight to and prison. And everyone was so pissed. And like, I never came to class either. Like, I was good at stats. But, like, it was one of those, like, I just excelled in. So it's, I was like, I don't have to go. It's first period. And also, it's an AP no. class. Like, fuck that. You know, that's the only class I didn't finish in college. If I, I had just taken stats, really? I would have graduated. It's actually like, it's kind of fun. It's just so tedious. So then I would just, I just wouldn't come to class. I was like, fuck this. It's first deviation. period. Like I'll be there in second. And it was like a joke. Like is Mari still in this class? It's like, or, and then one day my, we're like taking a test and my alarm goes off like mid class period. And I was like, sorry, everyone. I wasn't coming. I wasn't planning on coming to class today, but here I am. <laughs> You're but going yeah, straight fucked up the curve for everyone. Everyone was so upset. And if you are in high school, do my not fuck up the curve for your fellow friends. Your what? My fill in this year. Okay. Hey girl. Hey, she y'all. just called in a. It's me. She just phoned a friend. Is she this even loud? Wait, while you're like up, will you make yourself useful? How funny me is that? Like honestly, I thought it was a fun joke, and then no one laughed. I just like me just getting up, saying absolutely nothing, and like a villain comes in. Was it just what did the bit not hit? You thought, thought you ate. I thought, I ate. <laughs> I you, thought, thought you ate. Wait, so let's, let's have a combo. About, wait, so Coachella, you city girls. What's gonna happen? Brooke has reserved me for the City Girls performance because I reserved Ty for bedtime. <laughs> and me for City Girls. I've actually never seen them in person. I've never seen them, obviously. I don't know. I feel like I've never. Wait, it's important to note this is Amari's, or this is Ari's first Coachella. Yeah. yeah. I've exactly. never been to Coachella. Wait, never you experienced me one too? all oh, the really? bullshit. Oh, um, no, I the hell? Like, I feel like Ari literally is a city girl. Absolutely. Like, like I, re- we were just somewhere and I think they were there and I just remember him being like, JT is here! <laughs> JT, like, No, like, I remember season. in Fashion Week, something, 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 um, we didn't go to this party and I found out after that they were there and I honestly hated my life and I've never seen them in LA. They, I feel like they don't go out. I feel, I feel like, like they're a myth. No, they're yeah. not real. They but they got kids. Like JT don't, but Carisha got kids. She <laughs> the, the voice too. The voice. Too. Carisha got kids. <laughs> like you are saucy Santana. During Fashion Week, I posted a photo because we were in New York, and I said I'm a motherfucking city girl. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, but and she got hate because it was right in front of the. Um, I didn't realize behind me was the light. And it was nine eleven. Of what the nine eleven, uh, it was where the towers were. And it was nine eleven. <laughs> but goes, it was it was so inappropriate though. Like, why oh would I? Say, I just didn't even realize that's what was behind me. So I was like, oh my I would have rather had a face too. And fail. I was like, why do people hate me so much? And literally, I was like, oh my that's god, why. that's the. Oh one. my god! Well, I'm a motherfucking <laughs> city girl. In front of the in front of literally the twin towers lights, I said, I'm a motherfucking city girl <laughs> i was like i have to delete my instagram every that was time. right before like tana out. got swung on wait i have a question yeah. so you were talking about how you feel like the city girls just aren't real like you feel like they're just so elusive what are what's like a celebrity you feel like is elusive like you just don't see them anywhere but you would die to just see them in the flesh Hailey bieber matthew McConaughey. wait she be yeah. out though i feel like yeah she's outside i feel like the one There's, person that is so out, we're all talking like city girls but like yeah she outside no she be outside <laughs> she ain't got kids but like you know Haley Bieber's stroke. Did we ever talk about that? She had a what? She had stroke like symptoms. Oh, oh my poor girl. Seriously. But I'm really glad she's okay because I would have lost it. I um, love her. I lost it. Question like, oh. Who's your guys' like favorite, like, mo- like, who are you guys most excited to see at Coachella? Like, and I heard Billy. that people don't even be like Billy. seeing people, they just be at parties. Like, I have to kind see Kind of. So it's almost like- sometimes like, honestly, the most fun Coachellas are the ones where you don't really care for the lineup that much because you like, 
then you don't you're not it's not pressure like i have to be here at this time i have to be there yeah. at this time okay. i get stressed oh, and you're, i love you're having like, like our friend group not yeah on, if you want to see gone, someone like i went and something. saw eminem one time i went and saw completely by myself he was headlining and i went by myself to go see him eminem i goes, did that once for sia because isabella was like i have to see major laser and i'm like i want to see major is oh sia's lit i'm excited to see um harry styles I am excited. I've never oh, seen him live. Oh, boohoo twin. Oh my God, that's the first time He's I've seen kind him. He's kind of one who's like kind of elusive. Is. I feel like, like mm -hmm. Rihanna. Like, well, obviously she, she like goes out. out to, she goes to like her beauty stuff and she'd be out in New York or like Beyonce. Oh my God. Like, obviously I saw Beyonce at Coachella, but imagine just like seeing Beyonce in passing. I don't I think like, she's ever, I like, she passed. I think she passes. Exactly, she, exactly. She, so I elusive. <laughs> she's up in some type of jet in some type of island. She's not worried about us peasants. Yeah, she's all. never going outside of her. Imagine. Or like be like at an award show. Like I remember the first time I saw Kylie Jenner in person, it was it was at the VMA. She walked like right in front of me. And I was just like <laughs> Oh my god. I remember we saw her Mine at was catch. at Coachella. Remember we saw her oh, at yeah. catch. I told Brooke, you guys I texted them beforehand and I said Kylie's gonna be and sitting Brooke right next to right next to her. <laughs> and then like Tana and her like <laughs> said a few words together and this was like three days after I moved to LA and I was just like I don't remember this at all. <laughs> oh no, you She was seated at three oh one and you guys were at three twenty. <laughs> We sat, at, we sat at 320 the other day. Bro, but 320 is actually right next to 30. I look like a sick kid that you like brought to the canceled set to like check it out. <laughs> I look like the like. This is your podcast. I don't know. <laughs> you um, own this shit. Not today. <laughs> today it is y'all's podcast. Today it is the people's podcast. Is everyone doing all right? No. Uh, thank you guys for watching Canceled. If you want to. <laughs> what? Wait, what do you say? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, Tana's spiraling. Ari, you'll see him after his first Coachella. And Amari is about to be broken up with because I'm going to steal his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys and oh, so much. We love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Sorry that I was a little off, but we all have off days and off weeks and it's okay to go through things. And I think that we are just trying right now to really take that consistency thing and just fuck it in the asshole. So I'm showing up no matter what I'm going through or not. Next week, we will be with Bells On. because, And even though this is the last episode you guys will see before Coachella, I feel yeah, like we next week, next week though, when we like shoot, it'll be like days before. And oh, then we're just yeah. gonna have so much to say and I'm really excited. And I also really need to get this glass out of my neck. Yes, yeah, Sarah. I know you need to get Moderma. Okay, love you guys. Tana Moshe is canceled. W.E. Talent Production.